I'm Jen Kane. And I'm Mary Eve Harrington. Here's tonight's top story. CBS is investigating accusations of sexual misconduct against CEO Les Moonves. As a result, CBS may soon have Les Moonves. <laughs> Apple has become the first U.S. company to be valued at one trillion dollars. It reached that value by selling three iPhones. <laughs> Brookstone has filed for bankruptcy and is closing all of its mall stores, commented an executive from Brookstone. Boy, oh boy, does this bankruptcy filing got me stressed. But I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to one of our stores, sit in one of our massage chairs, and not even think about buying it. <laughs> oh, that's why, huh? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> President Trump thinks that the 43-year-old FBI headquarters is ugly and needs a renovation. Otherwise, he'll abandon it for a younger, prettier FBI headquarters from Eastern Europe. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm has recalled 3.3 million packages of goldfish crackers. They plan to flush them down the toilet, replace them with identical-looking crackers, and hope none of their customers notice the difference. <laughs> NASA has built a probe that can land on the surface of the sun. Once they're sure it can withstand the extreme hotness of the sun, they'll attempt to land it on the surface of Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Mobs of kangaroos have taken to the streets of Australia's capital, Canberra, in search of food. The kangaroo invasion has left Canberra residents hopping mad. <laughs> and now, where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news is Jimmy Fallon! <laughs> All right, thank you. Warner Brothers is developing a reboot of the show ALF. In related news, ALF is spending all week deleting his offensive tweets. <laughs> Probably about eating pussycats. <laughs> Charlie Sheen has asked the court to cut his child support payments. Explain Sheen's lawyer. My client can't afford to pay child support anymore. He's already supporting just dozens and dozens of hookers. <laughs> That's so many hookers! I wonder if they'd help my ratings. Uh, Fox is developing a series that would be a prequel to 24. It'll be called The Day Before a Bunch of Interesting Stuff Happened. I can totally get him on my show. And Pearl Jam has launched their own signature line of wine. And if you water it down, it tastes a little bit like Nickelback. I love drinking! <laughs> So good. All right, thank you. The roots, everybody. Thank you, Jimmy Fallon. Billboard has ranked The Twist as the top 100 song of all time. They also ranked The Twist as the most annoying thing you'll find in an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Alex Trebek says he may retire when his contract is up in 2020. Alex hopes to spend more time being smug with his family. <laughs> Police in Des Moines, Iowa found a nine-year-old girl behind the wheel of a crashed car. Added one of the cops. Even worse, the nine-year-old was loaded on Capri Sun and Gogurt. <laughs> 3D printed homes are being built in the Netherlands. The homes are really cheap until you need more toner. <laughs> According to an article in the New York Times, the number, one, the number of Civil War reenactors is declining. On the bright side for them, the way things are going, they'll soon be able to take part in an actual Civil War. <laughs> Anchorage police were called to the scene of a trespassing black bear on the University of Alaska campus. Fortunately, no one was hurt since the bear was hung over from last night's Delta Phi Rager. <laughs> A rare card from Magic the Gathering sold on eBay for over $87,000. The buyer paid for the card with all the money he'd saved from never going on a date. 